You can imagine me, Cheshire Cat, grinning right now. Consider this an exploratory lark, much the same as writers use prompts to spark communicative expression. Goals? Well, yes. This talk is about 17 minutes without questions or side sidetracking. Mine, <laughs> a very short debrief will close out my talk. Another of my goals is to focus our languaging on possible ways and means to introduce other people in all of their worlds to 3D virtual worlds and concomitantly to spend their time, energy, and their other mediums of, of exchange in 3D virtual worlds. That elephant in the room? Yes, money is one medium of exchange. Money is only one type of medium or exchange. Mental, physical, emotional, and energetic focus, and most important to me, time, are some of the other types of coin those we seek to influence pay. Let's explore. Why? What is that? How do you know? What does that mean? Why should I do that? I was thrilled when I came across these questions in David J. Chalmers book, Reality Plus, Virtual Worlds and the Problems of Philosophy. These are a few of the questions I've asked and repeatedly gotten into trouble for asking since I was old enough to talk. My parental units most often didn't have answers to my questions. They felt uncomfortable with the answers they did have and they, along with others, generally positioned me. Me! Me! A mischief maker? A miscreant? A troublemaker? Among many other labels. Much like we, in our levels of understanding, may have passing thoughts of others who, recalcitrantly, don't have an awareness of the patterns we perceive our expertise, if you will. For those of us who are in the process of selling any iteration of virtual worlding, sidebar, we can choose to reframe the term selling however we wish, inducing, inveigling, debating, guiding, attempting to convince, and splaining <laughs> arose by any other name, eh? For those of us in this process, we are going to run into, thank you for that laugh. <laughs> we are going to run into these kinds of uncomfortable questions from those we are dealing with. Sometimes as if about blatting head on into a brick wall. Are we using the word virtual in the same sense the person we're sharing with is understanding it? Words are virtual. They cannot be touched, palpated. They are not material objects, yet do we deny them as real? We're using them here, right now. Are they tangible in the sense that the computer unit you are using is tangible? We are accessing this 3D virtual space known to many as Nonprofit Commons Amphitheater at Vector Coordinates Plush Nonprofits Common 154,127,26 in Second Life. So, Are we real right now or not? Are we virtual right now or not? When we speak, are the words we are saying, 
hearing, reading, feeling, perceiving in any number of senses or cognitive pathways. Potential score alert, let your mind observe a path through synesthesia. We'll touch on that in a moment. Are these words we are using right now real? Go oh, nam, real, virtual, a combination of both? Those of us labeled as synesthetes experience words in ways that many others have no conscious awareness about. In my perspective, synesthesia is a spectrum of patterns and everyone experiences it to a degree. That degree can be non-obvious. How we and others define vir shiny, how we and others define virtual is often shiny and paramount in our being able to convince or guide others to using virtual 3D worlds. Also predominant is how do virtual 3D worlds benefit them? Them being those we are seeking to introduce to, guide, convince, etc. And how can they use 3D virtual worlds easily, those that we are approaching? Now for the homework. <laughs> Humans have an amazing capacity to adjust. And after a while, some things become, in some languaging, normalized or standardized. And as things become normal to us, expertism rears its head. Expertism is judgmental and is necessary in some life circumstances and choices, just as non-judgmentalism is necessary in other circumstances and choices. What expression might we use to approach, respond to, and actively listen to those we seek to inculcate with constructive ponderings of virtual 3D worlds. Why will spending your valuable time doing this homework benefit you? <laughs> the answer is not to be able to give a response to Shay. One of the answers includes to be able to successfully reach those we are trying to make a point to. We reach people where they live and sometimes their mouths don't necessarily work correctly. We reach people where their heart is, where their feelings are, whether they're aware of having those feelings or not. In essence, where they come from. I want to share with you a phrase given to me through an artist bio with a piece of artwork I came across in Second Life. The artist bio stated, I remember feeling emotions and feeling awakened by intense color and movement here. The artist, Treacle Darlandas, the location of the art piece, entitled Wing Bolt Swirls. You can view this piece of art and visit the rest of the exhibit, curated by Esperanza Fries, here. We all, ourself, and those we are trying to reach, they perceive in any number of senses or cognitive pathways. If people don't express to us with attention to our world, do we easily accept or explore what is being shared? <laughs> this artist clearly states their, their perception is awakened by color and movement.
virtual 3D worlds can speak to that form of perception. Others perceive more in smell, not something easily accessible in 3D worlds at this moment in time. Sound, easily accessed in some 3D worlds, barring glitches so prevalent in some iterations of Vivox. Taste, again, not replicated, except by suggestion, a virtual tactic in itself within 3D worlds. Transcript, thought is another way, belief, text, and many other perceptive modalities, what languaging expression might we use to reach others, to awaken their curiosity without overwhelming them, to safeguard them through their fears, to engage their sense of mission, to guide them to ways they can use 3D virtual worlds and other virtual worlds to accomplish their goals. That's the entirety of your homework. Explore possible language 